Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Today we're going to be doing a lot of small things that I've wanted to do for a while. These are things like collecting the mob heads, going to get some tropical fish, going to get some turtle eggs. These little things that I've never, you know, done before. So let's go ahead and start. Okay guys, so the first thing that I want to go ahead and do is collect some mob heads. And it looks like it is raining out, which is exactly what we need. Um, if you guys don't know the way to get mob heads, and these are the ones that I collected during a thunderstorm off camera, but I want to get more. Um, if you guys don't know, you need to have a charged creeper and have that charged creeper blow up mobs, and then those mobs will drop their heads. Perfect, and there is thunder. So, uh, very, very quickly, what I'll need to grab... Uh, oh, where are my tridents? They are in here, I think, right? Nope. Um, in here. I need my one with channeling okay perfect okay and i think that's literally all i need we can go out right now and collect some mop heads because it is storming out let's hope it's storming over here okay is it nighttime though i need it to be nighttime okay perfect okay so it's raining it's storming what we need to do is get a creeper and if we grab a creeper, okay, so see, now it's charged, so what we need to do is bring over a zombie, have this blow up, and bam, as you can see, there is a zombie head. Yep, and it's quite as simple as that. Now, obviously, I make it look really simple, but it's not simple because you need to wait for a thunderstorm. You also need a cha you also need a trident, and then you also need channeling on it, so it's not quite as easy as I make it out to seem but um, we're late enough in the game where we're able to do this pretty easily here okay so I need this creeper okay no stop killing each other <laughs> right okay blow up and I'm gonna get a skeleton head here blow up perfect so the three heads that we can get are creeper zombie and skeleton and, oh, and I guess also we can get the creeper head itself if it blows up another creeper. The only other two heads in the game are the Steve head, which is unobtainable, and um, the Wither head, which obviously... Ooh, both of these are... Um, and the Wither head, which you can get from killing Withers. Okay. Uh, okay, I... Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Perfect. Oh, I killed the other two. I didn't, I didn't want it to kill the other two. Yeah, but um, if you're late game, just like me, this is the easiest way to... Oh, it's a chicken jockey, or not a chicken jockey, a spider jockey. Those are actually kind of rare. I know I just threw my trident at it, but um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, since I have the thunderstorm here, I'm going to keep um, farming heads. Uh, I'm probably going to stop recording because, you know, you probably don't want to watch me run around and gather heads for 20 minutes but um yeah i'm just gonna keep going okay everybody so it looks like the thunderstorm is over because it will no longer let me electrocute things so that is it um i wasn't on here for very very long but I ended up getting a few heads of each so um technically the mission is accomplished so i'll probably end up adding these heads over here but for now i'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in the chest and i'll kind of deal with that later but uh goal number one is accomplished we went ahead and got some more heads i think the next thing that i want to do is get some tropical fish and i'm kind of sorry to say but this is something that i've kind of already done so i kind of got bored in between episodes and i decided to go ahead and get some um, so every single one of these shulkers was filled with these tropical fish. Obviously, I just went to a coral reef, took a bunch of buckets with me, um, filled them all up with water, and then gathered as many as I... What are you doing up there? He should not... I should probably torch that off because if a creeper spawns up there, I am thoroughly screwed and I have two torches... I'm gonna go ahead and oh yeah that is a very dark area that is not a good place for me to keep dark um but like i said i went ahead and collected every single type of fish so we got like the koi fish we got like the lakers fish we got the cotton candy fish black fish cod the neon fish i know those aren't their 
uh, actual names, but that's what I'm going to be calling them. I like to call that one uh, the uh, Kobe Fish. Isn't wasn't Kobe on the Lakers? I have no idea, dude. I don't even watch sports. Um, but yeah, and this is where I release most of them, as you can see. Um, I'm having a hard time having them spread out. Um, but as you can see, it is a lot of fish. So I did collect quite a bit. And, um, you know, I'll just like slowly pan over. I did collect, I think, every single type. Obviously, not every single variant because there are a lot. I mean, a lot of variants. But as far as I'm concerned, I wanted to have a big aquarium with a lot of fish. I would say that this is probably a lot of fish probably yeah enough okay so here's something that i've actively avoided at all costs because i just didn't know how to do it and i was too lazy and a little embarrassed that i didn't know turtles i don't know how turtles do how to get their eggs nothing so i'm gonna go ahead and try to figure this out okay guys so i'm gonna have to go to the same place i got these fish to actually get the turtles and i have a silk touch uh, with me, let's go ahead and, um, yeah, let's go see what's up with the turtles. So we're going to open my brand new slime door. And then we're going to go ahead and also close it just so no f funny shenanigans happen. Um, I'm pretty sure... Ooh, oh, I thought I saw a creeper. I'm like, oh, I better get rid of it. Um, I forgot where I actually went for my warm ocean. I think, was it... 2,000 to 2,500, I think. Okay, guys, so I'm here at the uh, coral reef where I found most of my tropical fish. Now, just a very interesting thing, and I didn't know this happened. Apparently, at some point during my world generation or an update, something went pretty wrong here at the ocean, and you could see that there's some pretty major, um, I don't, I guess, won't even know what to call this in this little cave it's a cute little cave right in the side of the ocean here and i'm lagging because my render distance is crazy or not crazy high but a little high this is actually oh and there is um temple or an ocean monument not a temple it's a monument it's actually kind of like a really cool cave not gonna lie i wish i could like make like a mini base here but i, I guess it wouldn't matter right um yeah this is where i got my fish and I know because while I was gathering fish, I saw turtles. Turtles like to, yep, see, here is a turtle. Turtles like to do their thing here. Now, to actually get breeding, I need seagrass, which is this stuff, right? And get some shears. Now, let's see. Now, am I correct or am I still very dumb? Wait, yes, oh, so it's this stuff. Okay, so it's seagrass, right? Seagrass? Seagrass, perfect. It's exactly what I needed. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, sit here just for like one minute and break a bunch of this stuff. I don't think we need that much because we're just quickly breeding some turtles. I don't but... know how this works in the slightest. Oh, he's... It's happening. Okay. Can you dig two? There's some eggs. Wild. Okay, he's digging two. Now, we have a silk touch. Is this how we break these? They are. We got a turtle egg. <gasps> Did I step on him? Okay. Now, what do we actually do with these? Do we... We... They just hatch, right? So, like I said, th I've, I've been playing this world for six years, and obviously turtles have only been out for a couple years now, but I've just never touched these in my life. So, uh... Yeah, this is something new to me. I've never even, like, dealt with really the turtles at all, so... I'm actually not even <laughs> sure what... I can do with these. I know some farms utilize these because, um, like, zombie pigmen don't like them and stuff. But as far as that goes, it's kind of the only use I know for them. Oh, he's digging fast. My man's is going. God, my 
machine gun turtle over here. Okay, guys, so I still have to pick... Oh, I just logged into the world here. I still have to pick a place to actually put the turtle eggs. So, give me one minute while I think about... Oh, say, probably from around here. Let's start it pretty small. So, right off the beginning, not very big. And obviously, we'll expand as we go. But just for right now, I don't want to have them too crazily spaced apart. Okay, so real quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and place these down. Um, but I'm going to quickly go ahead and grab some torches. Make sure Oh, I literally have torches on me. I am a dummy. Got to make sure not to land on them because they will break if I do. Place those there, there, there. And let's place one like, you know, right smack dab in the middle. Let's go ahead and build up the glass just a tiny bit. These are actually going to take a lot longer than I thought. About four to five in-game days to hatch. So... Let me go ahead and turn my uh, chunks loaded on a lot just so we can try to have them. Oh, we need to be in 128 blocks. We're going to have to be pretty close here. Okay, well, while we wait on those to hatch, I guess we can kind of go on to the other thing. So, tropical fish. I wanted dolphins, and then I just wanted to do some coral farming. Okay, I kind of do want dolphins, but the question is, what is the best way to transport dolphins? Let me... Go ahead and sit here while I think of a way to get some dolphins in my world. Okay, so I did just a two seconds worth of research. I guess the only way to get dolphins here is leads. That's kind of the only way. And that will be our little dolphin exhibit. So I just got to kind of pick out where. Okay, so I'm just going to assume I probably won't be expanding the turtles past maybe right here. Yeah, if I expand the turtles any more than that. That would be wild, but eh, just in case, I'm just going to maybe put it over here. Because, obviously, I've got a lot of room to fill on my world, so, um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to end up giving the turtles, you know, a lot of space, but I'm going to do the same thing with the dolphins here. So, let's just, for now, and we'll expand it later. All right, we got a pond going here. You see the water filling up. All right, we got ourselves a pond. Let's go ahead and um, grab some dolphins. So I'm going to go ahead and make some leads. Yes, dolphins, this is what I needed from you. Let's catch them all up. Good enough. Yes, come on, man. Okay, I will need them always back. Okay, this is damage, so I'm going to do it. Oh, this is easy. Um, come on, come on. I wish you guys had water maybe up real quick. Oh, hold on, I'm going to hold. That's right, you guys did it down here, no? Okay, I wish you guys back in some water. There you go. Stop some fresh air. But enough, so I'm going to take that. Yeah, I don't want to lose their idea. That's what I'm going to start. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's get a lot of water too there. 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 Come, come, come. Okay, uh... Hey everyone, it's the next day. Um, I've been playing a little bit here and there. You could probably tell there is, uh, a lot of major differences. So I'll just kind of go through on what I did. I went ahead and expanded both of these so um, they're much larger and I don't think I'm going to be building them any more than this. So this is probably their final size. Um, let me go up in the air just to kind of give you guys an idea of how big it is. So, um, yep, so this was the original square. I made it just a tiny bit bigger and then um, I made the one for the dolphins quite a bit bigger just because I wanted them, um, wanted to give them a whole lot of room. but. Uh, yeah, with the dolphins, it was pretty simple. I just made the glass cage bigger. I used this... Oh, I almost just died right there. I used the same ice trick where I just put it uh, in the corners and it just fills in the rest. Um, I put in some dirt at the bottom here. I think I'm going to put maybe seaweed or uh, coral in here. I'm not going to do it yet. Um, but yeah, I'm, dead, I'm planning on doing that. And then my original two dolphins died. And then I brought in two more. And then those also died now i don't think they died i think they re or they despawned so when i went ahead and got um i think this is six more and then i named each of them um so they don't disappear because i don't know for some reason um they would disappear so with this one i expanded it and this one took a little while because i had to create this little island here it didn't take too long but um yeah um obviously no, dude, all of my turtle eggs are gone. Did this zombie for real just step on all of them? 
don't don't play with me like okay well uh we need to go get more turtle eggs because uh at some point in time something trampled on my eggs that is thoroughly annoying but I, I, back to the point i guess so i just made this little island here obviously i needed a little bit of water and i wanted to still make it look nice in some sand so i just made like a crescent shaped sand island obviously i'm gonna be adding more decoration but this is just like the very simple um design of it and then i had this little um little pond of water and then i have a little bit of water all around um honestly i think it looks pretty nice where are all these animals coming? Where are you from? You're not named, are you? Are you? Where? I don't know where that cat came from, and it wasn't named. Hopefully I didn't just kill one of my own cats, but I'm pretty sure cats... I don't know. I, at this point, I, I don't even know what's going on. I need to go grab more uh, turtle eggs. Um, but yeah, I'll give you guys one more quick look. And the next time you see me, I'll probably be either decorating, making more progress. But right now, for sure, I need to go get more turtle legs. So guys, I'm just kind of flying around uh, looking for more turtles. And I saw this. This is like some of my favorite things to find in Minecraft. This little floating gravel. I mean, it's not anything like crazy or rare or, you know, but it's always kind of fun. Um messing with it and just kind of messing around with the minecraft world yeah this type of generation like this area i just well first i just like gravel but yeah that you can find a lot of like small floating structures which are kind of cool now i wonder if i break this snow it's gonna fall right or oh, i accidentally dug up some of the gravel uh is, oh this is floating gravel too wonder can i drop gravel on it Is that gonna update? Oh, there <laughs> now it updated. Um, okay. Well, anyway. Oh, there's a dolphin. That means turtles could be around. Do I even have to cut? C can I find turtles right off the bat? Any turtles? Any tur turtles? That's exactly what I needed. Okay. Well, I was gonna cut, but psych, I don't even need to cut here. Take some. Take some. Take some grass. All right. Well, I'm gonna sit here and. Harvest. Okay, I do have my silk touch. Harvest some eggs for a little while and then I'll bring them back. Alright, everybody, just came back to my computer. I am currently underground. I just kind of AFK'd for a while. Okay, we got some turtles going and actually, we even got our first shoot. So, this is when a baby turtle grows up, we get a shoot. So, yeah, it's working. I ended up farming around 25 eggs. You could see some of them, like this one, is a little slow and didn't hatch at all, didn't crack at all, but a lot of these are already really, really cracked, so I'm, a lot of these ones are probably going to pop real soon. But I have five shoots here. Now, I don't know the exact recipe for a turtle helmet, but I'm just going to take a guess that, yep, it's the exact same as a normal um, helmet. So it's two armor. Um, something that I've been meaning to do for a while, just haven't got around to it, is fixing our arrow game. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Okay guys, so you know what? I actually changed my mind. I'm not going to put the target blocks in just because I don't want to make this game any easier. The game is already easy as it is. I don't... Did I put fire charges? Why did I put fire charges in there? Oops. I already... I should probably change these to droppers. Man, I was not the smartest back in the day. Um, back to my point. I don't want to make this any easier. So I'm going to leave them as buttons. But I do have a different idea for the uh, for these. Uh, what are they? Uh, it's late at night. Target blocks. All right, guys. It's a couple hours later. I'm just kind of screwing around on our redstone world. And I kind of just created something that I thought, you know, could be fun with target blocks. So let me kind of reset the game here. Um... So basically, I just wanted to hit note blocks, but instead of accuracy, I wanted to play on timing instead. So I created this little machine. Let me quickly get rid of these arrows because they're bothering me. Um, so you're, you're going to see that the target blocks pop up for just like not even like one second, meaning I have to be very, very quick with my aiming to hit them. And then what's going to happen is if I hit them, 
it's gonna send a redstone pulse over here and put some items into this chest so every time i hit one of those it's gonna dispense three items and then it's a comparator so depending on how many items are in this chest a certain amount of lights are gonna get filled up so basically i have to hit more and more and more to get more lights and then each of these is controlled by uh, ethel hopper clocks so all of these are set on different timers and then each of these has a second pulse going so the target block gets put up but then gets put down very very quickly and i can change the timing of how quick that is with these repeaters right there so super super simple just a bunch of ethel hopper clocks uh um taking care of the up and down and then this is the redstone signal for whenever i you know actually hit one so we can see here so i missed right there so we just gotta wait and see until one pops up okay so i hit that one and you can see items went in if i hit that you can see that light went on so that was a confirmation of me hitting and anyway so basically i just stand here and the longer i play the game the more items will get dropped and then the more of you know lights will get on so it's a super super simple concept of a and there's game. a lot of fixes that i want to make to this game specifically um, I don't like how you can see behind the redstone right there, so I'll have to figure out a better way for this uh, wiring here to come out. Obviously, I'll clean up a lot of these redstone hopper clocks, make it a bit nicer, and one thing that I do want to do is expand this. So, um, ideally, I'm going to have two rows of these. So. Oh, I guess I probably should have showed you the first prototype. So this is what I came up with, and this actually works. This is the first one, the first one that I worked on, and this one did not work, partly just because I did not have room for the second timers. And now that I think about it, I do have room because even these ones just put them above. Yeah. So with these ones, it basically it would stick them up, but then it would leave them there for way too long. Everyone, it's even later at night, and I was gonna get off, but then I was like, you know what? Actually, I kind of just want to keep playing. We got no nothing better to do in my life, honestly. Um, so I went ahead and built it. Now, like I said, it's very much different from the one on the redstone world, and I'll jump into spectator mode here in a minute to show you. But um, this is kind of the not final product because i still have to make it look nice but the game itself is basically done as you can see the different target blocks are uh, jumping up up and down they're not staying for very long it's pretty random i'm i'm still working out the timings a lot of these i'm going to slow down because they're popping up a little way too much so i'm going to slow all of them down but um as you can see if i let's just say i hit one of these bang that lights up and we do get an item all the way up there so the more i hit these it's going to gather more and more items and eventually we'll fill up the bar that's really about it it's just a game of you know speed and reaction time and accuracy um like i said I, the main fix just needs to be in uh the timing because these ones are really easy those ones are hard and i i have to fix all of the timings um but let me quickly go into spectator mode and I could kind of show you what's going on here. So spectator. Okay. Let, let me kind of show you what's going on. It's the exact same circuit. So we have, um, I don't really know how to break this down. I guess I can just do it in like three, technically five circuits, right? So we have, um, each of these target blocks which are being brought up by a two pulse system so the f uh, i guess i should start with the clocks so one two three four five clocks for the first five and one two three four five clocks for the second five so each of these clocks just you know functions normally like a normal ethel hopper clock this observer um observes this changing and it spreads the pulse two ways it spreads the pulse this way into this piston and downwards over here so this one hits and then this piston is on a delay so basically one pulse two pulse so that brings it up and down that's the entire circuit so basically each of these little slices just does one of the pistons up down up down up down for the top one here it's the exact same thing you could see five separate clocks that are just slice clocks basically 
and then they go down and um, one's on a timer one's on not up down up down super super easy um, yeah and then uh, the detection system for it uh, for them getting hit so if we just go in here you can see whenever I hit one of these it'll just send the redstone up here so that will send the redstone all the way up here to the top to these three droppers and then these three droppers whenever uh, I hit a block they'll send more blocks into this chest and the more blocks are in this chest the more this goes down and then on the opposite the just the hit detection that just kind of comes up here and comes up from down here and hits this little redstone just for hit detection and um yeah that's really about it the thing that i really do like about this game is that all aspects aspects of it can really be changed right so you know with a lot of games they have a hard time switching up the settings but with this one it's super super easy if i wanted to change the amount of time that the target block is up i just have to change the timings here so the longer timing here the more time it'll stand up if i want it to be super super quick and short and hard then i need to shorten all of these um do if you want to change the difficult or the how long it'll take to fill up these lights i can just add more droppers or maybe add a second pulse um what else would i oh if i want to change the timings of how often they come up i just can uh, add items to these clocks and that changes it so basically every single timing in this game can be changed um and then also with this game, it can be further expanded if, you know, right now I just have the simple light system, but this can, you know, be hooked up to trigger something else. So it's pretty expandable. And like I said, I like my arrow game over here, but that's purely for aim and distance. You know, like hitting that over there is hard because of the distance, but with here, they're not hard to hit. They're very close, but you have to have that quick timing and aim. So... Yeah, this is basically a second arrow game, but this one uses redstone that I kind of made myself and, you know, it's a different f different skill of um, the bow. Here's kind of what's going on. So it's not too, too different, but it is um, a skeleton. So basically what I did is I took each of these um, targets, I surrounded them by wood, put a little bit of glowstone in the back just so it's a tiny bit more visible, a little bit more contrast. I did oh, let me get some rockets here I'm like I'm almost out of rockets I did the same thing up here just a whole lot of spruce woods glowstone in the back so that's all the same I left the uh, timer or not timer it's like a counter I didn't touch that yet so that's still kind of um, pretty bland and I went ahead and added a second border out of the stripped uh, spruce added a little bit of decoration added a little bit of leaves on both ends um yeah and then the back wasn't really too changed i did fix all of the timings and then i did fix um the amount of time the targets are going to be up so some of them are a little slightly different um but i think i have a good groove so like you can see there should be one coming up every about two three seconds um so i don't have to stand here for like too too long there's some long periods which i still have to kind of kink out I see right now it's a little bit long, but it also adds a little bit of suspense. So honestly, I don't mind it too much. And the game is actually hard. I didn't make this e easy on myself, so it's actually a pretty hard game. Hey guys, just about 30 minutes later, I did a little bit more work on it. You could see I pulled up the grass a little... Are you kidding me? Pulled out the grass a little bit higher so I could hide some of the redstone there. And then all around the building... Nah, I can't really fix that, but um, I'll show you the better angle here. All around the building, I kind of added this... Uh, like a small skyscraper made out of wood look hey everybody it's a little while later i did a tiny bit more work on it and i can kind of officially say it's done so i went ahead and finished up the sides of the building so you could see i added some windows a little bit of ledges a couple flower pots and some dark oak trap doors and i went ahead and did that all the way around i added some bushes along the edge just to kind of give it a little bit more texture and give it some more greenery and then I put some more uh, trapdoors up there. But as far as the decoration, that is kind of it on the roof. I just went ahead and since this is more of a square building, not, you know, it's not like a residential building. I didn't want to give it 
um, a curved roof or anything. So I just made it flat, just kind of like how like, you know, like a skyscraper would be. And then the last thing that I did was <clears throat> finally add the actual shooting area. So you can see here, the glowstone is where we're supposed to stand. This is the distance that we should be. And then what I ended up doing, just to make it easier to actually shoot, if you stood here and pulled this lever, it brings up blocks. So you can't move, you know, up and you can't change your distance. So you can move your um, angle where you can shoot from, but you can't actually move forward or backwards. So, you know, you're kind of forced to be in this one position to shoot like this. And I think it just kind of, um, it helps. You can focus less on where you're walking. You just focus more on your shooting here. And if you want to turn it off, you just click right here. Easy. There's one block here that is doing some funky. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Uh, oh, that's like a whole tick off. Okay. Okay. Bam. Okay. That should be fixed now. Let's go ahead and put that back. Does it work? Indeed. Okay. So all of them come up at the same time. So you just stand here, flick it. You can play as long as you want. And when you're done, you just flick off and you can move along your day. So it's just a nice little pedestal. Um, like I said, I just got a lever with a piston and a redstone block. I added just a little bit of decoration. Um, but I think this project is sort of done real quick. I'm going to go back there. I'm just going to show you the redstone. Super, super simple. Just a bunch of pistons in a circle with repeaters going into a block, uh, into a redstone torch. And uh, yeah, it's not the greatest, you know, most complicated piece of redstone. Um, and these are my chests that I've been working with here. Um, but yeah, the project is officially done. Let me go kind of up here. Um... And this is the final product here. You got, you know, the edges, a little bit of redstone sticking out there, but that's fine. There's a shooting area and the pedestal. Um, the redstone fully functions. I could do more with um, the output system there, but I think for now I'm going to leave it. I think it looks fairly nice for a mini game that I just kind of um, impulsively built. Hey everybody, so I just added a bit more decoration in the dolphin aquarium, but I think I'm going to end today's episode off. I feel like we got a good bit done. We explore dolphins and turtles which again for some reason i just never did um we got some mob heads we got some tropical fish so we got a new aquarium going and something very 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 super last minute was this arrow game which i wasn't planning on building but um it just kind of happened and honestly it's actually a lot of fun i already tried to, i already went to the second light might sit here and get to that third light for fun but uh yeah guys i think i'm gonna end today's episode off here hopefully i don't run into the lava i should really change my skin maybe next episode i'll change my skin and maybe i'll get a new resource pack also we'll see um i'm kind of in the mood to try new things in my world you know we've been doing a lot of the whole same old same old i want to i want to try something new but anyway Guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.